Hey guys, and welcome to another Commander Guys gameplay video. This time around, we have Marco looking to play Doctor with Yawgmoth Thran Physician, Nate looking for battle with Janara Ashura of War, Taylor looking to put the fun back in Funeral with Marin, and finally Mark looking to cool out in a stream with Omnath Locus of the Royal. Let's jump in. Marco starts us off. He plays a Swamp for turn, and uses it to cast a Mana Vault. He then follows up with a Mox Diamond, discarding a Road of Catacombs, and passes. Nate drops a Wooded Foothills, and passes. Taylor drops a Bloodstained Mire, and goes to fetch an Overgrown Tomb tapped. In response, Nate cracks his Wooded Foothills to grab a Canopy Vista. Mark drops a Forest, and uses it to cast an Exploration. He follows up with a Sheltered Thicket, and passes. Marco untaps, and drops another Swamp. He casts his commander, Yawgmoth. He then uses the colorless mana he is floating to cast a Lightning Greaves, equips Yawgmoth, and then hits Taylor for 2 commander damage. Nate finishes resolving his fetch land, and brings in a Canopy Vista. He then moves to his turn. He drops a Snow Covered Plains, and then taps 2 to cast a Sylvan Caratid. Taylor drops a Prismatic Vista for turn, and cracks it to grab a Forest. Mark drops his own Prismatic Vista, he cracks it to go find an island, and then shortcuts a bit by casting Renin 6 before resolving his trigger. Mark uptakes the Renin 6 to bring back the Prismatic Vista. He cracks it again, and then goes to grab both his forest and his island. He then taps the island to cast a Soul Ring, and passes his turn. Marco takes one on his upkeep from his tapped Mana Vault, and then moves to his turn. He casts a Sword of Feast and Famine, and then hits Renin 6 for 2 in combat. He then passes to Nate. Nate untaps, and drops a snow-covered forest. He casts a Wayward Swordtooth, and plays a Plains as a second land. At end step, Taylor casts a Grizzly Salvage. He takes a Frexian Tower to hand, and bins the rest. Taylor drops a Swamp, and follows it up with a Liliana Heretical Healer. Mark untaps, and draws for turn. He casts a Sky Shroud Claim. He grabs a Tropical Island and a Taiga, and then follows up by casting his commander, Omnath Locus of the Royal. He upticks Renin 6 to return Prismatic Vista to hand, and then plays it for turn alongside a Sulphur Falls. And he remembers to hit Marco with the damage ETB trigger from Omnath before he resolves the landfalls. He then draws a card since he has more than 7 lands, and then sacrifices Prismatic Vista to repeat this process. He forgets about his third landfall, and accidentally puts 2 counters instead of 3 onto Omnath. Marco takes 1 from Mana Vault on his upkeep, and then draws for turn. He plays a Bloodstained Mire, and cracks it to grab a Swamp. He then casts an Illusionist Bracers for turn, and passes. At end step, Nate casts an Enlightened Tutor, and goes to grab a Blackblade Reforged. Nate untaps, and then drops a Forest for turn. He casts his own Sky Shroud Claim, and grabs a pair of Forests. He then follows up by casting his own commander, Janara Asura of War. Taylor untaps, and then draws for turn. He drops a Frexian Tower, and then casts a Solemn Simulacrum for turn. He grabs a Swamp with its trigger, and then passes off to Mark. Mark casts an Azusa for turn, and then drops a Forest, triggering Omnath for a plus one plus one counter, and a draw. He follows up with an Elvish Rejuvenator, and puts a Forest into play tapped with its trigger, once again triggering Omnath. Bloodstained Mire hits next, once again triggering Omnath, and is followed in quick succession by a Field of the Dead for yet another Omnath trigger. And a zombie token as well this time. He then casts an Evolution Sage, and cracks his Bloodstained Mire to go and find a mount. Omnath, Field of the Dead, and Evolution Sage all trigger, and he proliferates counters on Omnath and Renin 6. An island triggers everything again. 
and then he taps his remaining mana to cast Natural Order, sacrificing Elvis Rejuvenator as part of the cost. He grabs an Avenger Zendikar as part of the resolution, and its trigger gives him 13 zero one plant tokens. He upticks Run and Six, and returns his Bloodstained Mire to hand. He then plays it for turn, he resolves Field of the Dead Zombie trigger first, then Omnath, and then puts a plus one plus one counter on each of his 13 plants. He then resolves Evolution Sage's Proliferate, and makes everything, including his plants which now have plus one plus one tokens, bigger. He then cracks Bloodstained Mire for Stomping Ground tapped, and repeats this process again. After all of that, he moves to combat and swings Omnath at Marco for 15 commander damage. Marco was short on lands, unfortunately, so he passes turn after taking a damage from Mana Vault on his upkeep. Nate untaps and draws for turn. He casts a Black Blade Reforged. and then pays to equip Gennaro with it. He then follows up by casting a Sword of the Amethyst. With that out of the way, he swings 10 in the air at Ren and 6. Taylor untaps, and drops a Westville Abbey for turn. He activates Frexian Tower, and sacrifices Solum Simulacrum to draw a card, float two black mana, and flip Liliana. As Liliana flips, he gets a zombie token, and then he casts an Attrition. In an attempt to buy everyone at the table another turn or two, he sacks his zombie token to Attrition to destroy Avenger of Zendikar. He then follows up with a Finale of Devastation, where X is 1, to put Spore Frog into play. He ends his turn by upticking Liliana and forcing everyone to discard. Mark untaps, and then draws for turn. He casts a Ramanup Excavator, and then brings back his Bloodstained Mire to trigger his board again. He moves to combat, and swings his plants at Taylor in an attempt to force Spore Frog. Understandably, Taylor fogs the combat step. Mark then repeats the process he started in his main one, with fetches a total of three more times, for eight total triggers across his board this turn. With that done, he drops a Chandra Awakened Inferno, and upticks her, giving each of his opponents an emblem, and then casts the Nature's Lore to grab a basic forest and trigger his board again. He casts a Growth Spiral to draw, and then drops a Scalding Tarn as part of the resolution, triggering everything again. He does the same with Explore in Prismatic Vista, and then cracks the Vista and Tarn to do it again. Marco untaps and takes one from Mana Vault, and an additional one from the Chandra Emblem. He casts Imperial Seal in his main phase, and passes while he finds what he wants. Nate untaps, and takes one in his upkeep from the Chandra Emblem. He equips the Sword of the Animus to Janara, and then activates her ability twice, giving her an additional two plus one plus one counters. He moves to combat, and hits Mark in the air for 14 commander damage. He grabs an island with the Sword of the Animus trigger, and mistakenly brings it in untapped. Taylor takes one on his upkeep, and then starts his turn. He down takes Liliana to bring back Spore Frog.
then moves to cast his commander Marin. He sacrifices the Spore Frog to Frexian Tower and triggers Marin to gain an experience counter. He then casts a Grave Pact and goes to move to his end step. At the end of his second main phase, Martin casts a Beast Within to destroy Marin. With Marin gone, her trigger doesn't bring back Spore Frog. And then recognizing that Mark more than has the game at this point, the rest of the table scoops it up. Game Review New Omnath is so explosive if unchecked. Both Taylor and Nate had above average starts for their decks, and Marco had a very fast start, but Mark just outpaced them all. If someone at the table had hit a board wipe, or if Marco had hit a token producer to be able to strategically remove pieces from Mark's board with Yawgmoth, the game may have gone a little longer. But as it is, the game was really just a testament to how strong generating value off your landfalls and ramp spells can be. Real quickly, I just want to give a quick shout out to Dungeon Games and Fort Myers for letting us film, and a thank you to all the players for being a part of this. If you liked the video, be sure to let us know, and don't forget to subscribe to see more of our Commander content. And as always, thank you for watching.